Gillian Davis, I'm the Director of Assessment, Organisation and Delivery at University of Law and I've been in post for two months. The University of Law is a rapidly growing university in the UK and overseas. We've got campuses in 16 or 18 different locations. My role is a new role that's going to be standardising and centralising the student's assessment experience. So ensuring that no matter what campus you're on, no matter what subject you're studying with us, you will have a University of Law assessment experience all the way through from having their assessments designed, scrutinised, all the way through to the end of, of getting their transcript delivered to them. So this role's a step up for me. I, um, I'm now a director of my own area, so there's a huge amount of autonomy that comes with that role. Um, I'm expected to understand what needs to be delivered against the university strategy and to just go ahead and do that. Um, I think part of that's probably a university of law culture thing as well. It's a private institution which does have a real difference in how it feels and behaves to a state university. Um, there's a lot of trust and empowerment that's given at the organisation. So um, I'm expected to know what to do and to get on and do that. There isn't a big complex governance structure, for example. There are committees, but they tend to be really rapid. They're lean. Um, we make decisions and then we just get on with it. I've been really pleased by my first impressions of the role. Um, I've been really surprised by how friendly and welcoming everybody at University of Law is. Staff are um, really uh, helpful and excited to see me in post. Lots of people have got in touch with me to suggest we have a quick catch up um, so they can introduce themselves, explain their role, talk to me about how we might interact in future. And that's been really helpful. Um, during a pandemic when a lot of us are based at home and I'm not bumping into people as I, I would do normally. Really different for me, um, this is the first um, experience I've had of looking for a new role um, during the pandemic, so not actually being able to come onto the campus and see what the campus is like um, during that interview process. Being interviewed via Teams is really um, odd, but it was managed really, really well. Um, the colleagues that were interviewing me um, made me feel really relaxed. Even though it was via Teams, we had um, still had that same opportunity at the start of the interview to have an informal conversation, introduce each other. Um, they were very friendly, very relaxed about the whole process, which was, which was really helpful. So I did get opportunities to actually then come onto campus and come onto site and to meet people um, in the flesh before I actually started in post. I always uh, advise colleagues, whether I'm sort of mentoring people um, professionally or just talking to friends and colleagues across the sector, I'd always say to don't, not overthink it too much. One of the real joys of the HE sector is that roles are really varied. Um, there's always opportunity to get involved in stuff outside of your particular role. The HE sector really values a set of core skills. Moving between different specialisms is really common within HE. And I would always say to colleagues that I'm mentoring or just friends that I'm chatting to, that if you think you can contribute something, if you think you could be good in that job, you could contribute something to the organisation and learn something yourself on the way, then don't overthink it and just give it a try and do your best. The thing that I really like about HE is I don't actually know um, where I might be in 10 years. The roles that I've done to date have been hugely varied. Um, I've never really had a plan as to how I'm going to progress my career, but just by doing the best that I can, being known for being really effective, opportunities have presented themselves and I've been really willing to take them. Mm -hmm.